Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And, and I'm Vanessa Hildebrand. Oh. And she lives across the street from us. And we are so <laughs> lucky because Vanessa has shared some recipes with us earlier. She shared the wonderful gato gato, um, which will fly that one here. And you can you can see that. It's an amazing meal made from so much um, time you've spent in Indonesia. Now, I'm an anthropologist and I've done uh, research in Indonesia for 27 years uh, and um, so I go back and forth and I'm a professor of anthropology and so I get to talk about health and food and um, and women's health and, and infant health and so this is some of the learning that I've done. Do you see why we admire her so much? She I mean, inspires us. Completely. Completely. And and we, have, we always walk and talk and the other day she was saying that she was... Ah, I'm um, making this turmeric soup, and I was like, oh, are you kidding? Because for my birthday, Vanessa made me these amazing turmeric-colored napkins because they were supposed to inspire your appetite and eating, tu and eating turmeric. And healthy digestion. Yes, as, and that's, and that's our jam we're all about turmeric around here. So we have these for when our chins are going to get messy. But on our last walk, she said she was making this turmeric soup and then she had this other name for it um, that I didn't understand and she brought this soup over to my house to try. I had it for lunch, I had it as a snack, I had it for dinner, Brian got none of it. <laughs> I had it alone, I had it over rice, I had it with a few... No, I had one taste uh, of your, your soup. I think I made you... I, I avoided actually, the rice and just to get the soup. Um, but anyway, so it was delicious and I'm like, even as a... We're filming YouTube and you're going to be there. So here she is. Please tell us about the name of the soup and, and, and just all the facets that you have here. Such fascinating items, ingredients. Well, there, there isn't always... It's, it, the, the soup is so ubiquitous that people don't really have a name for it. The closest recipe that you'll get in the United States is often called Penang curry, but it's, it's a little bit different. And it, it's pretty typical of that which you'd find all over Southeast Asia um, and, um, and both archipelagic and, and um, uh, mainland Southeast Asia. So there, there's some real similarities that you'll, you'll see. Um, you, might, you might have come across something that with the same kind of taste profile in a Thai restaurant. That's where we That's what often. it tasted like. I was like, I am in a restaurant in my own house eating out of her Tupperware. <laughs> so good. So good. But you call it something. You call it soap. Soap Lunyuk, which is the village where I have spent so much time. Soap Lunyuk? Because that's what we just, we call it in our house. So it'd be like but, Soup Cleveland? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> soup Cleveland. Doesn't and sound as cool. People love the soup. It, it, um, it's, you know, you, people make the broth, essentially, and then use whatever is available. Um, but it also has a lot of the same spices that are used in um, home remedies and all kinds of um, medicines that um, healers would use. That's so, great. so it's the turmeric and, and the cumin. And ginger. Ginger. And yeah. Kale. <laughs> so it's kind of like if wow. you are get sick, we, we say in the United States, you know, chicken, the, broth. chicken noodle soup. And here the, in Indonesia say, you know, this is what you should eat when you're sick. Yes. So, so this so, is what we eat when so we're sick. Look, look, I can't say it again. Look. Lunyuk. Lunyuk. Yeah. Alright. How do let's okay. let's go. Um so first um yes, you always start with some um uh garlic and some shallots or you could use onions anything in that family and i went ahead and roasted them ahead of time um and i think i roasted them a little too much i was doing too many things at we the do same that time all the time so, so um, this but is roasted, I think a roasted onion, onion, and, onion garlic. and garlic and so i usually you know i'd say half a cup but i usually just take a whole shallot and chop it up and then um you know in a recipe um that i have written down i say um you know five to seven garlic cloves I like a lot of garlic. You could use a lot less garlic, but I like a lot. Um, so I also roasted, when I was roasting that stuff, um, tomato. And um, this is pretty common wow. um, in the eastern Indonesia, where I've spent so much time to use a lot of tomatoes. And it's less common in, um, in western Indonesia and mainland Southeast Asia. Can you talk about what you're doing? Because this is not something that you often see. This is like our... Uh, 
This is a mortar Cuisinart. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of so this is a, essentially the Cuisinart that, you know, people use in, in the village. Writer. And um, But I, I like it because it doesn't completely grind right. everything. But it also somehow, I don't know, understand, you know, you probably would have to talk to a food scientist or a chemist about it. But somehow it, I think it tastes a little bit different being oh, ground like this. So... Um, um, is this called a mortar then, what you, what um, yeah, I mean that's what we yeah that's what we call it here. Is this a yeah. typical and this, one from from your village? Um, it it is typical, but I bought this here because mm. you know there there's um it's often used for with Mexican cuisine. Yeah. So um it's you know it's very happy. Yeah. So I didn't we, want to bring have, this. <laughs> we have one over there back. that we have one over there that holds the sort of keepsakes. We've got stones from trips and things, and we are not using it for food. But this I could just even smells. So yeah, you say, the, oh this my smells God. come up. When you say roasting yeah. your garlic in your shallots, does it you really mean that you just like put them on a pan in the oven at 400 or whatever? Yeah, yeah. So, and I, I used, um, actually, and I learned this from, from you, I used uh, parchment paper and um, just roast them until I could start smelling them. Because mm, that's but, my um, smell right here, that beautiful yeah. roasted. Yeah. I wish it was smell a vision. <laughs> so... Um, I also roasted some jalapenos while I was at it. I, um, I'm not going to use these raw ones, but um, a lot of times people get kind of nervous about using jalapenos because um, they, they are spicy, not just for your mouth, but also can be for your hands. And they're just, they're really easy to deal with. You just, if you just use a spoon and, um, and kind of do that, then, then that, that's the spiciest part. And then you, your your hands won't be feeling spicy for the rest of the day. Also, just take it out. Just yeah, just it take out. it out with a spoon, and it's it's super easy, just like you would like a, a green pepper or something. And then and then I just roasted those. So I just wanted to show you that. Okay, give so, it a hot star. Um, so I'm not going to completely grind this because we'll actually do some of that in the pot. But I like to get the taste going, um, starting to mix together. Um, <clears throat> Do you have a spatula? Okay. Yeah, we're total of them for a spatula. <laughs> this is little. Okay. Um, let's see, what am I forgetting here? Um, oh, ginger? We'll put, yeah, let's go ahead and put the ginger in. Here, look, we got, we've got the notes, and these notes will be shared with you um, in the description. So we've got ginger and garlic and... I don't even know where I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Okay. Oh. Down here. Roasted shallots, yeah, yeah. ginger, and garlic until soft, about five minutes. This is in the, this is crushing? Oh, no, that's so, that's as if we had roasted. But okay, I okay, 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 yeah. okay, great, great, great. Okay, so now Can here, this it? comes the complicated part, um, because now we're going to need to this lift this up. This smells so good. Why does that smell so? It smells good. It's all those tastes that are starting to combine. But there's, a, there's like, and it's, it's a different, it's a, that has such a different smell. Mommy, can you smell that? It smells like a Thai restaurant. It's got to get their nose in there. Ooh. See, isn't there something different yeah. about yes. using that as opposed to putting, yes. it, putting it? Is there yeah. a lime in there yet? Not yet. Okay, something so now we amazing. put it. Do you want it hot? Should it be hot? Yeah, let's heat that up. Okay. And you've, she's never cooked it over this kind of stove. Over this kind of pan. Or in this kind of caraway pan. Oh, is this a caraway pan? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. We, okay. We are into caraway pans, and if you don't know caraway, we'll fly it in. We can get, there's a code for them. We love them. They're amazing. Okay. Should I help okay. hold this thing? Um, so heavy. If you, if you scoop, I'll hold. Okay. Right. Do you have another scooper, Shane? Yeah, we got a lot. Wow. This is, this smells so cool. This, can I use it this side? Because this is. No, this is good, Mom. Thank you. Um, this is like the rubber spatula after it. Okay. Every little bit, I want to get out every little spice. I use this thing all the time. It, it gets um, permanent counter okay. real estate. There you go. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Dad. Wow. Okay. So probably get medium high, like medium simmer? low, maybe medium low, for, right, for, for the moment. Okay. Now let's put... Um, so I'm using soy milk. And um, we used about two cups. So well, let's heat that up. Just to let that heat up a little bit. You, you, do you spread it out or yeah. what do you do? Yeah. And turn it down a little bit. Yeah, turn it down just a little bit. And you know, you'll notice with the heat, the, the 
the smell starts changing a little oh, bit. Oh man, I can't get, can you smell that, it, Wade? It starts expanding. Oh. It tastes like smell the rock. Yes. Should I start doing yours? It has like a different. Yeah. So we're eventually going to need um, about one whole bunch of kale, but you could use mustard greens, collard greens, We've used beet greens, um, we've used green beans. So we just something that's nice and hearty green. And um, Anne's doing her excellent um, stripping and chopping job on this. Well, if, and then- This is La Sonata Pale and that's particularly fine to strip. It's really, it strips easily. I'm gonna put- Do you get kale and- uh, I'm gonna do two what cups. The, the Indonesian green is kale, isn't it? Well, they're, I don't, you know, botanically, I don't know if they're the same, but there are lots and lots of greens and people mm -hmm. grow them in just their house gardens, um, but also buy them at the market. And there are all kinds. Um, there's a water spinach, which is, um, like which us. is, um, it, it has a, Does it melt longer, like ours? It's a little bit more robust, so it doesn't quite melt. Does like it have a longer does. stem so you choke on it? It does have a longer stem. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to add peanut butter and the spices. Wow. Um, where did the measuring spoons go? We had some measuring spoons. Okay. Right oh, there. there they are. Okay. Um, and while we're doing this, Jane, can you cut up the tofu into cubes? cubes? One of my most favorite things to do <laughs> ever. Thank you. You want them? I'd say I'd send my pro at like that. Big or little cubes? Whatever Jane wants. Huh? Does, does, do they use the in, uh, tofu in Indonesia? Oh, yeah. Tofu. Uh, That's a lot I'm... of tempeh comes from Indonesia. Tempeh comes from Indonesia. So, so either would whatever whatever someone has on hand i mean and that's that's kind of the key thing about this recipe is that people what use what they have on hand mm -hmm. um okay so now we put some of the um spices in the the stronger tasting spices so i have on the recipe some kind of minuscule amount of this this is um thai red curry paste that you can get um yeah really any grocery store and they're a whole bunch of different brands and I have a couple teaspoons but the truth is I really like to use half of the jar so <laughs> that's that's the truth <laughs> we get this stuff and we love it because it's not made with it's just got it's just crushed vegetable or whatever it's all it's all just the vegetables it yeah. doesn't have any like added milks or oil or eggs it's just I mean because sometimes like wasabi paste has got eggs in it yeah oh I didn't know that I know we make your own all right, so I have this chopped. Should I put these okay, in? Okay, not, not yet, not yet. So we're gonna get this. Um, we're gonna get this um, spice mix going. So this is lime like zest. A, hold on. Lime How zest. much lime? Look at the and look at that lime zest. Wait, lime zest. It's fluffy. How many limes is that? That's one lime. It was really big. And I used all of it. Wow. But that's smell it. We need to get a, a lime zesting lesson from you, Lassie. <laughs> I say that's a little bubbly, though, right? So I have so two tablespoons. Oh, this yeah, is, yeah, this, is this the lime that it came from? No, that's so this is lime. from a lime that had almost no juice in it. So oh. I opened a different lime, <laughs> hoping that there'd be juice on it. It was a minuscule amount. Oh, yeah, can we turn this turn down, it down a little okay. bit? Okay. Yeah. Would you always put that much zest in? I'm probably not going to put all of it in. Oh no! Oh, I, I was, was I was getting so excited. Okay, <laughs> there. No, I, I, yeah, no, 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 I was I was like, it was intense. It's okay, here we go. Because that was like a qu quarter cup of. Well, it's also it's a very fine um, a, kind of zest zester. It's one of those tiny ones, so um, it has tiny little spikes, and so there there was there's a lot of air in that. Like, okay, like, like this. Yeah, like that. Well, ours doesn't look like that. <laughs> so on the recipe, I have half cup, um, but of, of peanut butter. Of peanut butter, yeah. So you're just gonna eyeball about a I'm, half cup. I'm eyeballing, and this is probably a little more. And we can adjust it later. That looks like it's about a half cup to me. Okay. Um, and yeah, it, what's what? And because you're looking for a mouth feel, or you're looking for the flavor. Yeah. And, and also kind of a thickness, because this is a soup that you want to be thick, but not too thick. So you put in the, you put in the, um, in here so far, we have all those mashed up beautiful vegetables in your mortar and pestle. Yeah. 
which was like jalapeno and roasted onion and roasted, you know, mustard salad, shallot and garlic and tomato. And then you added in your Thai, um, okay, this is getting a little bit more bubbly than she wants. There we go. Okay. okay. I'm low. And your, your Thai, your Thai, um, Thai curry, Thai red, red curry paste. paste. And then we added milk and soy milk. And now we're going to, um, I'm again going to say, I, you know, I have, um, how much do I have there? Two tablespoons turmeric. Um, so tablespoons, that's about, um, one tablespoon is about two teaspoons, which happens to fit in the jar. So I'm just going to do four and, um, wow. kind of no, oh. dig. Okay. Four teaspoons? Yeah. And then, um, I like the way you, <laughs> <laughs> I said because it's totally the way I cooked. Just and then half the heaping, amount of heaping, heaping cumin, tea. and then um, let's see, do we have everything? Okay, now we could put in um, about a cup and a half of plant strong vegetable stock. Oh, we have it right here. Here it we is. Might, might pour, we can pour out half a cup and then pour the rest of it in. No, I think about a cup and a half. We can just put that whole thing in. I think that's this about is two, two, cups. two cups. Okay, so just just put most of it in. And if you're interested in plant strong broth, you can. <laughs> it will fly in. We've got a discount code because people have often asked about products we use, and I off, and I feel badly not offering sometimes a discount if we can add one. So add Jade fifteen, Jane fifteen to your plant strong order at Plant Strong Foods, and it just makes it easier. Okay, it's a delicious, very low sodium. How much sodium is in this, Mommy? Do you know? Zero. It's the only broth I know that has zero. Wow. This looks so beautiful. Okay, Can now we top we shot? Need... Are you getting top shot on that? Look at that. Look at that. Now we need a couple glugs of maple syrup and a and a glug of tamari. Do you what want is to do the, the tamari? Tamari? You're the glugger. Okay, I'm the glugger. Because okay. you, you, you do spices kind of how I do, <laughs> and I want to see how you glug. One, and that's two. It's a good glug. Okay, it's a good glug. Um, one. You might two. do a little for good measure because there's no salt in that in that okay. broth. Good. All go. right. Nice. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna give you a little more heat because you've added some cold stuff. Okay. Let's put the tofu in. Tofu, I cubed it up, and I hope it comes. Come. Sometimes I roast the tofu ahead of time. Sometimes I just put it in. We're putting it in today. Yeah. You roasted so many other things. I'm just trying to separate all the little cubes so they don't stick together. There we go. And you've had some like, you had some other. Um, I have been working squash, so hard on this pan. Oh, the buttermilk squash. Yeah. Okay, and then there's. Um, I use a whole. Sometimes use sweet potato. Sometimes use um, how butternut clever, squash. How, how nice to do it frozen. And um, so how much of that is this? I would say half. half? No, half. Okay. Half of the tea of your roasted butter. So that's it was probably three cups. There's so much yummy stuff in here. And um, let's put the. Kale. Did, did I do it? Did, should I do yeah, it? Yeah, that's more. That's more, no. More that's fantastic. Up. Look at that heaping pile, mommy. Way to go. <laughs> this is such a witch's brew. It is a witch's <laughs> brew. I love it. <laughs> it's for the Jane witch. Yes. Three times thine and three times mine and three more makes nine. Oh, we're making a great witch's brew here today. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty thick, so I'm going to put and in. I think, yeah, just going to put the rest in. Ta-da. Look at that. All right. And we've got more broth if needed. Now, the other thing about this is that um, my family always jokes that uh, we like to have this sit a while before we actually eat it. So we we often make it a day or two before we're going to eat it. And best is if you make a whole bunch and you put it into the freezer and then get it back out because then it's like all the tastes have absorbed into each other and, and um, I don't know, it just tastes richer. But we're going to go ahead and eat it today. 
So how long does this cook for usually? So cook this for 30 minutes. On sort of this low, medium yeah. simmer thingy? Yeah, just a low simmer. Get the kale down so it can uh, soak up all of the broth. Wow. Let does it this, does this texture look minutes? about, does this yeah. the texture usually looks? Yeah. Now sometimes we eat it over rice, sometimes um, we eat it over just a whole bunch of vegetables or something. Sometimes just uh, I'll take it to work and I just eat it on its own. It's it's a fantastic lunch. It's got, you know, oh. plenty of power to get through the afternoon. Sometimes I eat it for breakfast. <laughs> that is what I would love. And speaking of, of eating it and trying it, Vanessa is so amazing. She said, she oh, has, I slept as long as I could today, and then I worked out, and then I went to the grocery <laughs> store, and then I cooked, and then I slayed a dragon, and then I did some wool to make a sweater. No, I'm kidding. She did so many things this morning before she even came here at noon to make this. Um, that she even made a batch of this that's done and on our stove here so that we could taste a completed or a cook, fully cooked mm -hmm. version thereof. I, I'm stunned. So this version, we're going to keep cooking over on the stove, but I want to bring out your your version, if we could, and, and, yeah. and we're just going to have it. As, as she's getting that, I have to say that <clears throat> being in, living across the street from um, Vanessa, I only see Vanessa when she's out shoveling in her yard. And, and, and she, every, every week she orders another huge pile of, of chips that she is shoveling. Wood chips. Wood chips. And she, she is truly a shoveler. I, 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 I like to dig. I love to dig. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I've been waiting. Okay, so this is Anne and Vanessa and Jane and Wade. And here's our ladle. And let's get some spoons. And oh, let's get one for Lulu. She can share Lulu. with me. Lulu, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get Lulu a bowl. Come on, come on, come on. It's cold. I, it's, can we have it cold? Yeah. Can we mind okay. if it's cold? It's fine. Oh, Brian, do you want to try some? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're everyone's gonna get cold soup. Is it okay if it's cold? Yeah. Is mine cold? I we can we can zap some. I some from cold for lunch last week. Yeah. All right, Vanessa. Okay. And Anne, there you go. All right. You know, one of the reasons I like Vanessa, besides she's the best, is that when uh, we went to dinner at their house, they have the exact same silverware they got when they got married that we got when we got married. So I, that says so much to me, like the, the feel of, of life in your hands that you're serving yourself. Like it's the, the same. You bring to your mouth. You bring to your, I love The it. nourishment. We, we made the same choice. I love that. 20 and 20 some years ago. Yeah, I didn't even know each other then, which is so funny. <clears throat> All right. This looks. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll microwave a few of these for people who are fussy about temperature. Who's fussy about temperature? I think Brian might want one more. Okay. All right. So who's a... Lulu! Do you want it warm, Lulu? I can warm one up. You like it cold or hot? I don't really mind. Mm-hmm. Come on in. Come on in. We do you want to eat on this side or that side? Your call. Your call. Come dry. Come dry. Okay, you. Yeah. All right, Wade, give it a go. And you like things warm, so I put things in there. Well, okay. So what? What's say the name again? Well, we call it soap lunyok, or we call it lunyok curry. Okay. In our house. All right. So this is okay. That's where it tastes so familiar. Yeah. Mmm. It is. So. Oh my gosh, it's just as good as it was in Jane's bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. And what, what's so interesting is that mm. when we were talking about this, you were saying that it's usually made with, like you're familiar with having it with like coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Is it, this is not coconut milk that she made it with. It's the soy milk. Is it tastes okay? Because mm -hmm. so coconut milk is, it's really rich and for some of our patients, we you know, we don't drink coconut milk, but I, I understand it offers a lot of life and calories to populations out there. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a really important for um, especially in regions where there isn't much food. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. Uh, mm. Mm. No one is talking. Wait, what do you think? That's delicious. Oh, I can eat. It's, it's cold. And it's cold. Yeah, I can eat a lot of this. Yes, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could eat a lot of this too.
And I'm loving the huge size of the kale chunks I'm getting. Just the size that you did, Toot Mally. Mmm. Mm. And the butternut squash chunks mm -hmm. and the tofu chunks kind of, I'm like, okay, is this going to be a tofu one or is it going to mm -hmm. be a butternut squash one? Is it going to be squishy or is it going to have a little bounce? Mm-hmm. There's so. I would say in this one, I should have put more ginger in it. So mm. we'll see what happens with that one. I like lots of ginger. Yeah, mm. well, I'm ta I'm, I almost want to try a little bit of that one even though it hasn't cooked long enough. All right, well, I, you know what? I mm. I think I want to go eat some more soup. But Lula, Lula, what do you think? What do you think? Oh, I I, I really love it. Okay, well, we <laughs> love you guys for us today. We can't love the King Joyce. So we hope you guys we make love your love Lula. And we love Vanessa, and we love soup, soap, lunyuk, lunyuk or mm -hmm, curry. And um, I'm calling it turmeric soup. I love that. Will that, will that work? Will that work? Yep. I would call it Vanessa's turmeric <laughs> soup. All right. Well, good luck. Let us know how you make it and if you enjoy it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.